actually my least favorite guy, Neil Cavuto, uh, interviewing a guy who got his finger bitten off by what they claim is a move on activist. Do they have any information to that effect? Who knows? It's Fox News, right? They could be entirely making it up. And this is being played as, I can't believe it, this guy, this poor conservative who went in there, uh, got his finger bitten off by a crazy, rabid liberal. But let's watch the first clip, clip number nine here. No, I'm sorry, clip number eight here. And see what actually happened from the person who got his finger bitten off. Interesting character. Let's watch. And did a move on protester just bite off more than he could chew? A uh, healthcare rally turning downright hostile as a man has his finger bitten off. Blood on the street. The man loses his finger. And now the man is here. I think minus the finger. Well, the hunt is on for the guy who bit off my next guest's finger. Authorities are trying to get their hands on the guy in that black shirt. It all happened last night at a pro-health care reform rally put on by MoveOn.org. Bill Rice was there protesting government-run care. He joins me right now. Uh, and and uh, first of all, um, how are you doing right now? How are you feeling? Uh, thanks for asking, Neil. I'm fine. Okay. Um, what happened? Tell me what happened. Uh, I uh, went out to a local event in uh, my community uh, where I was uh, confronted by somewhat of a deranged individual and a scuffle ensued and uh, he ate my finger in the process. Well, wait a minute. I mean, how did the scuffle ensue? This is the guy we think could have been the guy who ensued said scuffle, but reports are from witnesses that you threw a punch at him or what happened really Bill? yes sir yes sir i did he uh... came at me uh... calling me an idiot and uh... whenever he got close within my range uh... i threw a punch okay so you threw a punch did the punch land? yes yes so then what happened next then i threw a second punch and my fist ended up in his mouth but, and then he bit your pinky off, right? He bit my pinky finger off. <laughs> That's awesome. First of all, I love Bill Rice. Now, I know like he's anti-healthcare reform, and later he talks about how his freedoms are going to be taken away and stuff. But the guy is super honest. I, you got to love his honesty, right? He's like, oh, no, no. I hit him first. He ate my finger. <laughs> and then I hit him so hard the second time my hand wound up in his mouth. And then that's when he bit it off. Well, I mean, at that point, I think he's got all rights to bite it off. I mean, you punch the guy in the face two times. What you expect him to do? I mean, Anna, somebody's finger winds up in your mouth after say, he punched you twice. There's some chance you're going to take a nibble, isn't it? Just a little one. <laughs> Just a little one. You know, this guy ate my finger. Uh, <laughs> he ate my finger. <laughs> I don't know, he ate it. We find out later that actually they did recover it, but they couldn't put it back on. Let's see if that's in one of the next clips. This guy keeps going. I, I, I love it. Here's clip number nine. You, you, you gave an appendage in, in the cause of, 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 of protesting health care reform. So you've overnight become a bit of a, a cult hero in this community. How do you feel about that? Well, uh, thank you, Neil, but I'm no hero. The, the heroes are in Afghanistan and Iraq right now. Oh, you don't say. God bless you. Bill, let me ask you, um, <laughs> your family, friends, what do they think of what happened here? Uh, they're pretty upset. They're pretty upset. What have they advised you to do? Well, they're, uh, they haven't been able to find forgiveness in their hearts yet, Neil, but uh, I'm hoping that they will soon. So, Bill, let's say you run into this guy again. You just, just bump into him. What would you say? What would you do? Uh, Neil, I have nothing to say. In fact, I think the smart thing for me to do would be to turn around and run. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> He's right. I, well, look. Here's the thing. How is he a hero when he's the guy who punched the dude in the face twice first? You see what I'm saying? It's like, and then he says at the end, look, you know, I punched him a couple of times, but then after he bit my finger off, I realized now I was messing with the wrong guy, right? So next time I see him, I'm going to run for the hills. Okay. 
Now, there's something lovable about Bill Rice. You know, Neil Cavuto's an idiot, right? Are you a hero? Is that what you're... God bless you. Right? But Bill writes, you want to be like, hey, you know, Bill, come on, next time you think twice, right? And he'd be like, yes, sir. I'm praying for forgiveness for myself and for him. <laughs> yeah, he's an American. All right. Let's go to clip number 10 here. He just keeps uh, on getting better. All right, let's go. I'm already trying to think if this guy had a legal defense, not that you're suing or even interested in it, which says a lot about you, Bill. Um, he might claim I accidentally bit his finger off. I didn't intend to. Do you think he intended mm -hmm. to? Uh, Neil, I, I can't look into the man's heart or into his mind. Uh, my finger was in his mouth and uh, when, it, when it came out I didn't have a finger is all I know. <laughs> I love people who say things like, my finger was in his mouth and then it came out without the finger is all I know. He ate my finger. Is all I know. <laughs> all right, man. Bill Rice, you keep getting... Of course, by the way, Neil Cavuto, he, earlier in the interview, he kept stoking him like, you're not going to sue? You're not going to sue? The guy's like, no, I'm not a litigious guy. That's another reason I like Bill Rice, right? He says, no, I'm not going to sue. And besides, how would that lawsuit go? Uh, Your Honor, I hit this guy in the face a couple of times, and then he wound up retaliating. Of course he did. Anyway, uh, if, imagine if anything ever happened to Neil Cavuto, how quick he'd sue. Oh, he's like, he couldn't believe this guy's not going to sue. Now, of course, Neil Cavuto, on a daily basis, talks about tort reform, right? Oh, my God, if you brushed up against Neil Cavuto, he'd be like, lost out! <laughs> okay, all right, final one for you guys. This is how he ends the interview. <laughs> this guy's too good, man. we got to have him on the show. <laughs> Clip number 11. How are you doing right now? Are you in any pain? Oh, God, I hate you. Uh, I'm uh, medicated right now, thank you. <laughs> and uh, uh, the doctor says the pain will subside uh, within a day or so. Man, oh man. Bill, if you had to do it all over again and show up outside as you did yesterday, knowing that there was a distinct possibility some crazy dude would try to bite your finger off, would you still do it? Yes, sir. Uh, freedom is not free. <laughs> Bill Rice, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. I love the awkwardness of that interview. <laughs> I love the long pauses. And I love that this guy loses a pinky and he's like, freedom isn't free. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Is all I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Bill Rice, you know what? Look, you, you did the wrong thing, but I think you realize it. And then the guy shouldn't have bit your finger off either. Let's keep it real, right? Nobody should be doing anything to one another. Uh, but I, I, I could, look, Bill, you find yeah, forgiveness in your heart. Am I not merciful? I find forgiveness in my heart for you. You get a TYT part.